What's going on, Clay Timers? Today we're going to talk about killing a spider with a blowtorch. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification so you know when I go live. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that notification button so you know when I put up new content. Let's get to it! And I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild, over the top opinions from an angry, cigar smoking, living in the basement of a house he pays on, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. What's going on, family? Subscribe, subscribe. How y'all doing? Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Before I get to anything real quick, I got to go ahead and add some admin stuff to get to. Please check out the guys who got me started in this. Damaged Goods. This is the website. DamagedGoodsInc.com. Please check them out. Crazy websites. Website with a bunch of crazy people on it. Damaged Goods. Daddy Issues. Clay Time in the Basement. Baked and Waked. Beta Testing. And Needless to motherfucking say. Please check them out. Very, very funny. Also, check out the gear. Be a clay timer. Get your own gear. Good afternoon, Tamara. How you doing, Tamara? How you doing? Get the gear at cafepress.com forward slash clay time in the basement. Oh, I got also got to remember the Brost. What's up, bro? The Brost podcast that you see right here. Very, very funny. They're a part of the family, too. I gotta get, once they get on the website, I'll go ahead and change that up. Also, get the outlaw gear, cafepress.com forward slash clay time, or excuse me, forward slash stand up comic clay miles. Bam! Just being a dumbass. Twitter! Get me at, get at me at, at clay t basement. Bam! That's my Twitter, at clay t basement. Facebook page, at Clay Time in the Basement. Just put that in the search. You'll be able to find me and love me. And my Instagram is just at Clay Miles. Instagram is just at Clay Miles. Boom. Hey, Tamra. Hey, Tamra. Hey. Good to see y'all. Oh, my God. It's good to see y'all. Let me tell y'all something. One of the reasons why I'm down here. In the basement. is because. She likes to. She will destroy. If it's a little problem. She'll she'll destroy it with something big. You know what I mean? She'll just explode it. I tell her all the time. That she would kill a mosquito. With a nuclear weapon. Why do I bring that shit up? Because this motherfucker did that shit here. This motherfucker kills a spider. With a blowtorch in the house. Burn the fucking house down. What the fuck? Fresno, California went way overboard trying to kill a black widow spider and his parents. I love her. She is gorgeous, isn't she? It's, I love the smile on her face. Like, can you look see the smile while she's talking? Like, are you, it, it, is anybody listening to what the fuck I'm saying? This motherfucker killed a spider with a blowtorch in the fucking house. Gorgeous. Home. He accidentally started a house fire after using a blowtorch to kill the spiders last night. He was house sitting for his parents at the time. He was, it wasn't his fucking house. It wasn't even his fucking house. You burnt my fucking house down because it was a spider. All right, dog. Look, you didn't lost your man card. Excuse me. It was a spider. Do you have to burn down my whole fucking house? You know, they're all over the place. There's spiders all over the place. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I just. The firefighters say that he made it out safely and that no one was hurt. I don't like that he made it out safely. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you guys burn my fucking house down, I want to make sure you're in there with it. This way I, I can at least feel, oh man, we lost him. But inside I'm going, good. I'm glad you're gone. I don't even care. I don't, if you're one of my kids, I don't care. You're gonna burn my shit down and then you, then you gonna live? Fuck you. I want to at least mourn you. 
That's that's why he did it. <laughs> that's why he did it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Tamara, you're right. He probably lied his ass off. And there was a spider. And uh, yeah, yeah, Tamara, he's the worst liar ever. He really wanted to burn the house down. And, and he made up an excuse why he burnt the house down. It was a spider. It's like, my kid, you know, let me tell you something. Family, if my kid gave me a stupid fucking excuse... Because he wanted to burn my house down. Be a man. I burnt the motherfucker down because I wanted to burn the motherfucker down. But you're going to lie to me and, you, and then not even be smart enough to come up with an actual good lie? Well, why'd you burn my house down? There was a spider. Really? Really? That's what you're coming to me with. There was a fucking spider. Okay? Could you at least say that uh, uh, it was a monster in the house or something? Something but more believable than a fucking spider. You could even tell me Count Dracula was in the house. We had to burn the motherfucker. Count Dracula's in the house. <laughs> but the fire damaged the second story and the attic. What? Fresno, California. Uh, fuck. Are you am I am I right? What the what the fuck? Jesus Christ. yelling at me mm -mm. <laughs> that's the little motherfucker who will burn your fucking house down letting letting him talk to you all like doing all this and shit okay he's the motherfucker's gonna burn your shit down <laughs> cut ass yeah exactly cut ass i don't care how old his ass yeah exactly fuck him he's gotta go he should have been in that fire all right this next one I love this next one because I don't know if y'all have kids or not. But let me explain to y'all something. People are fucking retarded. <laughs> people are fucking people are fucking retarded. But let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you, this next one. I love this next one. Let me explain to y'all because they don't show exactly why this is going down. But I'm going to tell you guys why this is going down. This is what you call an old fashioned ass whooping. And the reason I love it is because this is a teacher who actually messed with one of the students, and her father got in that ass, you hear me? Got in that ass. When he found out about it, oh, hell no. This is this is an old-fashioned ass whooping. Fresno, California went oh, way that, overboard it, it, it trying to kill okay. There it is. Here it is. Pow! Hold on, we gotta, we gotta rewind that. Because just the way it started off, it started off like the shit. This is an old fashioned. This is what I'm gonna do. Anybody fuck with my daughter? This is how it goes down. Pow, motherfucker! Uh, uh, uh. Matter of fact, let's get this out of the way. We gotta watch that one more time. Hold on, let's watch it from the beginning. Let's get that out of the way. Pow! That's what I'm talking about. Twenty-two seconds, fifteen or fifteen seconds, twenty-two punches. This motherfucker was getting in that ass. Get a piece of that ass. Get off me, bitch. I, mean, <laughs> I don't even care if that's my daughter. No, daddy, no. I love him. Get the fuck off me. Rat -a -tat 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 -tat. I love this. We got to watch it again because it's short and, and I love this. I love how he walked up to him. No, hello. No, we need to talk about shit. Uh, are you, are you uh, fucking with my daughter? No, none of that shit. Just walk up. Row. Pop, 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 pop. That dude didn't even get, didn't even get a swing in. Didn't get nothing. Look at that. My, that, that motherfucker, look. And then knees him right in the head. Wow. <laughs> I love it. That's what you get when you fuck with somebody's kid. You hear me? An old fashioned ass whooping. This motherfucker got his ass handed to him. Is this your ass? Because here, this let me hand that to you. You take that with you. That's your ass, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. That's old school parenting right there. I'm just saying. Nobody fucks with your kid. <laughs> you like how I did that? We went from one kid burning down the house to you kicking somebody's ass about that kid. Because those are real parents is all I'm saying. You can go from one to the other and be... <laughs> I'm just saying. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. Oh, I'm not stopping the hammering. Not today, motherfucker. I got to bring those bows. 
I got to bring those bows, motherfucker. Hold on a sec. I'm trying new moves that I seen on in Nintendo back in the day. <laughs> Hold on. What did Tamron say? That that's damn right. Don't fuck with mine. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm doing old WWE moves and shit, coming down off the top rope. <laughs> Do you smell what the daddy's cooking? Is all I'm saying. All right, all right. <laughs> I am stupid. All right, this next one. Mm -hmm. I am stupid. This next one is uh, stupid. It is stupid on another level. Nose warmer. I don't understand this. You ever heard it? That somebody came up with this word. It, it's a no. Florida man. That, that, he's probably from Florida, Dot. You're right. He is probably from Florida. Good to see you, Dot. Bam. Dot's in the house. I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. <laughs> All right. Now. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a nose warmer. I don't know where these motherfuckers come up with this shit, but you like put it around your face and it warms, keeps your nose warm, which I, I didn't even know that was a thing, but I guess we are, we're, we're going to lose the next war. People is all I'm going to tell you, because if we need nose warmers, uh, it's over. We've lost. Just so you know, we, we've become pussified on a level that has never been that pussified in the, the in the history of the world. Nose warmer. Yes. We, okay. Well, looking for that perfect holiday gift. What the fuck? Okay. If, the only reason you'd wear that is because you get so much pussy that you need to find a way to get this pussy away from you. Pussy, get away. What can I do? Every time I go out, I'm getting laid. Ah! What can I do to turn the pussy off from me? I mean, ladies, just so you know, uh, you can still wear this and we'd still fuck you. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. But you ain't fucking this dude with this shit on his face, okay? I don't care if he takes it off his face because you're gonna all you're going to see is that look right there. Why are you fucking him? You know what? Get off me. Get off me. I'm, you still look like Rudolph. You still look like Rudolph to me. And why the fuck is it a uh, uh, flannel? Is this some bullshit? Like like the de de decorations? Okay, all right. Or a way to make your coworkers just kind of laugh at you? Try one of these. Look at those. Those are called nose warmers. See, I fuck her. Dick warm. What, what, <laughs> dick warm. The dick always stays warm. Oh, ball warmers? No, no, no. Balls stay warm too. That matter of fact, my balls stay too warm. They sweat. <laughs> I don't need nothing to warm my shit up, <laughs> even in the cold. I think they make people look like birds, but apparently they want, they think, you know, look, they have all these attractive people. They even have. They're not attractive anymore after putting that shit on their fucking. This is some bullshit. You know what that is? That's an old stripper who uh, used to put that shit over his dick. And now he put it around his nose and said, look, I got a nose warmer. And now he's a fucking millionaire. He ain't got to be a stripper anymore. He ain't got to strip for, for Chippendales anymore. He's a millionaire. People who look like they're snuggling on a date. Totally ridiculous. But kind of useful, right? Because it is the one part of your face that is hard to cover. In no, no, don't justify this. That shit looks like a target. Get into a fight with me. That's where I'm punching you. Thank you for the target on your face. Crack! I mean, that's all I'm, that's what I'm punching for. That's a target for my knee. Maybe the knee, ah, rah, rah. elbow, what? Um, that's where I'm hitting you. If you were getting into a fight with me, that's where the fuck I'm hitting you. Brutal Minnesota winters, right? I mean, it's my nose true. is always red. What happened to the good old fashioned full face masks? Maybe, you know, this will make you look less like a burglar. That's true. <laughs> they do like look like How about you two shut the fuck up? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, what about the umbrella raincoat? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Now, Jeff, you you get the umbrella raincoat, and and you wear this nose nose uh what is this nose warmer, and uh let me explain to you something, Jeff. That's what you call divorce. Understand? Dot's leaving, Jeff. Dot's leaving. There's not that much love in the world. 
And honestly, dog, if you go ahead and, and she goes, okay, your honor, I'm going to tell you why. Great man, gr- gr- you know, great, 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 just a great man all the way around. Let me tell you why I'm leaving him. Jeff, where, where, put on, put on the raincoat. It's an umbrella raincoat. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. No. And there's more. Put on the nose warmer. Your honor, I'm the fuck out. And he's going to go, yeah, case dismissed. She gets everything. You're not even half. She gets all your shit. I'm buying the raincoat for your next show. <laughs> Don't do that, Jeff. I already got enough materials. Like, I'm going to spend like an hour on the fan. the fuck would he do this? Why would he do this to me? <laughs> I have a whole CD called Umbrella Raincoat. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, family. Well, like I said, those these are quick hitters. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, my God. Before I go, like I always say, please, if you can, drop some money in the uh, in the tank, in the, in the um, what do you call? <laughs> in the tip jar. That's right. Drop some money in the tip jar. I appreciate it. Hey, Jeff, thanks for the thanks for the money, man. I ain't gonna tell everybody what you gave me. Thanks for the money, man. I appreciate it. You always you always hooking me up, and I appreciate it. You are the man. Fucking <gasps> Chucky. I love that. I love fucking Chucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, well, anyway, before I go, I got to go ahead and do give a shout-out again to my uh, boys at Damaged Goods. Check out the website, damagedgoodsinc.com. Please check them out. Of course, the merch, cafepress.com forward slash Claytime in the basement. Tilt jar. Tit, tit jar. Man, I wish it was a tit jar. I really wish it was a tit jar. I wouldn't be here right now. Matter of fact, I, I'd have... All right, my Twitter, at Clay T Basement. Make sure you go ahead and like me there. Tell your friends about it. I put videos up every day, Monday through Friday. At Clay, Clay Time in the Basement is the foot Facebook page. Please check that out. Also, Instagram, bam, it's just at Clay Miles. Like me over there, too, and tell your friends about it. Please, hook that up. All right, family. All right, let me move this back over there. Okay. You like how I did that? I can actually move that shit. If I put, if, if I, well, hold on, who said? If I put in a tip can, I can flick some nipples, not yours. What? Man, your wife is here. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> your wife is in the room. It's just us. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, family. Well, like I said, we got, we got tomorrow. So I will be back tomorrow, 5.30, Monday through Friday. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for coming out. I love you so much. I am out. One day it's going to be smooth. It's going to be real smooth. It's just going to go right in. So now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your homes, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a confessional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking these fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter, at Clay T Basement, and Facebook page, Playtime in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening. Go take a bath. You need to wash this off.